All right, so from the math, easy. So we're going to discuss hyperbolic functions. Uh, basically, show you what they are. Uh, basically, hyperbolic sine, cosine, tan. Look at these ones. You could also write it as sinh, cos, cos, or tanh, or something like that. Just tan h. Basically, what this is, um, in in uh, certain applications in engineering and uh, math and whatnot, uh, in physics, uh, you get a lot of this combination of um, let's say e to the x minus e to the negative x and divide by 2 like you get these certain combinations it's something that it's similar to this one it, it, you, you get you get a lot of these so then they basically uh, the mathematicians basically just made define them define this as a name they basically gave them these kind of names this one's actually sine sine H a cinch or whatever so basically um, here, here's what these are all defined as so cinch X is equal to e to the x minus e to the negative x divided by 2 and then cos x cos h x is equal to e to the x plus e to the negative x divided by 2 and and then basically a tan tan h x is just equal to well like like the trig uh, the same thing here sine over cos hx and then uh, you also have the the other ones where you have uh, cosi cosine or what is this cosecant yeah the cosecant h which is just basically equal to 1 over sine h so it's uh, very similar to the trigonomic functions and then this one here will have secant uh, hx again this is just equal to 1 over cos hx and this one here is just um, you'll have the cotangent uh, hx hyperbolic form and this one's just 1 over 10 hx so you have these ones um, I'll show you why it's called hyperbolic functions basically it's called hyperbolic because it has the same relation it's uh, basically related to the hyperbola which I showed in my other video in the same way that the um, that the trig functions are related to the circle. So what am I what I mean by that is uh, if you have a circle, let's say a circle, let's say with radius uh, one, you just have x squared plus y squared is equal to one. And then in in this case here, this one is basically related uh, to the trig. I'll show you why. Trig uh, nomic functions. Yeah, so it's related to uh, the circle, and whereas this one, the hyperbola, is the uh, hyper hyperbolic function, that's why it's given the name, and it's related to basically the hyperbola, which is, uh, well, if you have a, just, just a basic one, uh, x squared minus y squared equals 1. So th this is why it's called that, and I'll show you why, how it's related to it. Basically, first let's go with the trigonomic functions, how it's related to a circle. So basically if you have this one right here, let's just draw a circle here. This is x and this is y. Okay, so let's say uh, here's a, just the equation of a circle. There's x plus y squared is equal to 1. So radius is 1 here. So this is just 1. So basically if you have a point here, let's call this uh, p. And let's say at this point is, is basically you have this one right here. This is t, and at this point you have cosine, uh, yeah, cosine t, and then sine t. And so basically, yeah, this is that's the x coordinate. This is the y coordinate. So basically, in this case, um, because it's uh, with the circles, x squared plus y squared equals one. And this is also the same for, yeah, and then this is how we actually get the identity of cosine squared t plus sine squared t equals 1. So this is why, uh, this is also why trigonomic function sometimes is called circular functions, because it, it is related to the same case here. And also this t is, uh, the t is, it's the angle in between, a, or also is equal to, um, if you look at this entire, let's say if you have, it's also equal to twice, let's say two times the area of the, basically, of the section of the. Oh, 
of the angle. So what I mean by this one is, uh, if you have a circle like this, like like the one above, and then you, if you draw this one right here, and this uh, this is uh, radius is one again, r is equal to one. So basically, this if you have this t, that's the angle. This whole thing actually is. So then t is just equal to two times the area of of this one. And uh, you can see this one basically, well we know that the area of a circle is equal to pi r squared and this one is just going to be equal to, well r is 1, so just pi and and then, uh, so if, th if this whole thing is pi is is the area, then let's say uh, if, if you go with radians here, if you go angle because this whole angle is 2 pi is the whole thing, but if you go let's say a quarter here this one's actually pi over 2 this is uh, pi over 2. So at let's say at t is equal to pi over 2. Uh, basically, the area is actually, well, pi over 4. a equals pi over 4. Or, or this one is just basically equal to, well, t is just equal to 2a. So yeah, this is just times by 2, and then you get pi over 2. So yeah, this one, the t is also 2 times the area of the section uh, over there. And then this is similar to, let's say, if you look at the hyperbola, the hyperbola, see my other video on the hyperbola, basically x, y, the hyperbola, let's say, for this one right here, this is just, uh, yeah, this, this hyperbola is just uh, x squared minus y squared equal to 1. And it, it, it happens to be that if you have this uh, hyperbola, if, if you have a point at here where this is equal to, uh, what's it called? This is equal to, let's say, P, and then in the coordinates are cos H of T on, and sine H T, uh, where, again, this is the X and Y coordinate, this actually uh, happens to be the same thing as before. And then let's say this is, yeah, you have this ang this uh, shaded area right here. So it, it actually, the, the trig identity with, um, I'm going to show you a trig identity right now on cos h x. It actually appears to be, well, you have this one, the hyperbola. And actually, this is also true. Uh, squared minus sine h squared t is equal to 1 and it happens to be uh, that this one's actually t equals to well twice this uh, two times the area again um, I'll show this in another another proof uh, but basically yeah, this is the exa exact same thing as, as before so it's similar to the circle the, the circle and trig but this one is with hyperbolic functions and and yeah and hyperbolas so basically, to prove this one, you could actually just go like this. Yeah, you could just uh, plug in those the, the values here. We'll have e to the x plus e to the negative x divided by 2. That's cos hx squared, and then minus e to the x minus e negative x. This is all squared, and then this is squared. And then if you were to expand this out, so ex expand this out, you get e to x plus 2 e x times e to the negative x. These actually just cancel. Uh, plus e negative 2 x all divided by 4. And then this is the same thing here, minus this one's e to x. This is going to be minus uh, what's it? 2 e to the x times e to the negative x. It's expanding it regularly. Plus e negative 2x. All divided by 4. And then this, this happens to be, well this is cancelled, this is cancelled. So we're going to get e to the 2x plus 2 plus e to negative 2x over 4 minus, so we're going to have a minus here. So minus e negative 2x, let's just put a thing over here, minus 2 
plus yeah, this is plus e negative two x over four. Uh, same common denominator, so we'll just uh, subtract everything. So we're gonna have e to the negative two x uh, plus two plus e to the negative two x minus e to two x minus two. I mean, this is a minus times a minus a plus two minus e to the negative two x. All divided by four, and as you can see, um, yeah, this this these two cancel. This one, this one, the same thing. This one and this one cancel. We're left with well, this is four, and equals to four. Four equals one. So it's the same thing here. So that's why it's called a hyperbolic function. So basically, we just proved that cos h squared over t minus sine squared h or the squared here t equals to one. Well, yeah, and then as you can see, it's uh, similar to yeah, it's similar to the circle with trig. But now it's that's why the hyperbolic functions are called hyperbolic because they relate to the hyperbola in the same way that the trig functions relate to the circle, and that's why the trig functions sometimes called circular functions. Well, that's all for today. Hopefully, I, hopefully you learned, and um, stay tuned for another math easy solution